So my eyes weren't lying to me. Why is this 50 minutes? This is not <laughs> take an average seconds. look at, and it isn't a overwinded commentary. Yeah, like it was originally going to be. Welcome, everybody, to literally a creature from the editing cutting floor of my Premiere Pro li li library. T -H -Q. Dead Logan, look, hold on, Logan, you didn't tell us you worked for the Krusty Krab. You know nothing of my history, no. So welcome Nick to games. Uh, welcome to Nick Games. Uh, given my current track record with showing these weird, sort of fun, quirky PS2 games, uh, this is not this is not going to get a whole lot of views. Seeing how I managed doing recently. Anywho, <laughs> welcome everybody to my sort of mini commentary, sort of brief summary of SpongeBob, creature from the crusty crab. Joined by Matt, James, Hype, and Cat. Hi. And Cat. Cat! <laughs> and Cat. Nice to think. Do you think that little of my girlfriend? No, I said I meant Cat with a K. I said that's a new, that's a new name. Cat the Secretary. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know where I heard that from. Anyway, so yes, this was um, kind of a little fun, quirky sort of SpongeBob game. Also, as I. As I remember, this was like the last. This is probably one of the last true SpongeBob platformer games, at least on the PS2. If period. There was one. Um, other I know one, there but was it came one for the PSP. Later. Oh, oh yeah, was that, um, was, was that Super Sponge? Uh, no, Sponge? that was, was the that, yellow, um, yellow Adventure. Yellow Adventure. Okay, I, I played. The, well, I played the DS version. Of yellow Adventure. Actually, not even that. It was more so like um, the PSP version of. It was either Battle for Atlantis or Truth oh, or Square, story. but basically it was just... Ah, oh, hang on. Oh, peaceful, bad. sleepy, bikini bottom. The creatures of the sea are deep in slumber. Their Ooh. night brains exploring the mysterious That's world. That's right, doesn't have it until later. Yes, yeah, remember, yeah, remember, yeah, remember that one episode of SpongeBob where you jumped between people's dreams? Yeah. yeah, this game is essentially focused on that idea and put into Whoa. full force. Putting the pedal to the metal. And completely yes, gonna... stylized change. Well, that's, well, that's not the only that. thing that's going to be a stylized change. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inner sanctums of SpongeBob's dreams. Hot dog, daddy-o. My bed is transformed into a lean, mean Why? wrenching machine. Time to put the pedal to the metal, the rubber to the road, and the sponge to the stone ring. Let's go, Tom Kenny. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. Actually, first off... It's time to rat faint it up. Oh, that's oh. dumb. Was it? Ah. Rat, it's rat He's oh, turned into a rat rat zombie painting. Yes. Yeah, that's really rat fake. Cool. That's good work, Dale. But thanks for playing. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are you guys are you guys are no great proops and uh, John Matt John, John Matt, Matt, you'll, you'll do. Also, uh, um, also archived uh, clips from Fusion Frenzy, which I think THQ had access to. Welcome to the first chapter, which I will quickly summarize by saying it's driving. Hold X to go forward, and yeah, they they borrowed a lot from the driving segments of uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Mm -hmm. on the, except this time you're not driving on a Krabby Patty; you're driving on your own bed. All right, now go ahead, Matt. No, yep. Matt hype. Because you're um, I did want to give a yeah, I did want to give a bit of an interesting dev thing, like. You know, people that are observant enough will know that a lot of the character models, namely for SpongeBob, Patrick, and Plankton, they were pretty much ripped right out of Battle for Bikini Bomb slash the SpongeBob movie. However, the people that made this game, Blitz Games, they actually made the two fairly odd parents games that were made for the GameCube and PS2. Mm -hmm. Oh, like Breaking the Rules? And they're Shadow Showdown. Mm -hmm. They're both pretty good. And they also made another game. Yeah, they are. They also made another game that I would love to do a look at of, but I don't have it on my hand, on hand, unfortunately, is Task Wanted. What did you got? I, I actually played that. Bikini yeah. Bottom sure looks different these days. So, uh, and, how, and how are you doing, Jordy? Join us today. I'm doing okay, you know, work was kind of hard, but I'm making the most of it, and I really, re I remember so much about this game. This was a lot of fun to play. Except, um... Oh, yeah, I I will say at one point, as I was getting to like another chapter of this, the first time I did it, my game actually froze because my copy like had scratches oh, or something. Oh, that sucks. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think it was a gift from my ex at the time. So I had to get a new one. Uh, 
Wow. That really no, that really says miles really says miles about how he, how he thought when he when he gave it to you. Speaking of, Mi speaking of Miles, welcome to the first stream of like, I think there's nine that we go through. So this is the first stream called Diesel Dreams. Diesel Dream or whatever. When SpongeBob having his own dream about him finally getting his license. Okay, I think we're done. Ugh. Yeah. There you go. He's oh. normal again. Yeah. Well, that was normal weird. As this can be so proud that I passed And then the entire world would close on itself. Wait a Where is it? There it is. There you go. I love how it's just a literal 2D image that they use instead, but oh uh, boy. I mean, look at that. Oh, Not even in your dream, Stop. square pants. And meanwhile, it, Plankton. a starfish was rudely awoken by that horrible oh, this, car crash. This is one of the best ones. Hmm? Oh, that was a strange dream. Yes, it was. Yeah. We interrupt your regularly scheduled static with this urgent news flash. <gasps> Bikini Bottom is threatened by the dreaded Patrick. Oh, no. The dreaded Patrick? Wait, Wait a minute. I'm Patrick. Hey. This is a job for Starfish Man. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay then. Uh, so this entire some, dream is nothing but Patrick. Normal, like, literally. Oh, yeah. What's going on in his mind besides Patrick's and Patrick's? Why is, and, uh, fun little deep. Why is Patrick oh. both the uh, hero hello. and villain? <laughs> because yeah, Patrick. No, like, maybe this, maybe... Oh, uh, look at that! Oh, hi there. Try that. Whenever you spin, you, you change the outfits. And you know, what, you know what, Matt? Maybe we're not looking deep enough into this. Maybe there's some elaborate, like, parallel plot of Patrick literally ca ca having conflict with himself because he actually is dealing with some inner turmoil that he must now fight in a personified manifestation of his doubts and inner critique in the form of the dreaded Patrick. Oh, and I love or, there's, or there's a woman. I think this is a completely different part of the psyche entirely. Yeah. One day I look, it, look, it's... it's, it's it's his inner frat boy. <laughs> Look at that. His inner frat boy. Like I said, literally everyone is Patrick. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, fun, oh yeah, fun little details that if you like pause the video, I hope it picks up on the render. But they went as yeah, if you pause and right looking, they even went as far as to make the shading look like comic book shading, which is nice. With the dots. Like say what you will about the game, at least they actually tried to get and put some work into it. Yeah. Also, Patrick on the telephone booth. Twist attack, right? Hi. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. me. You're welcome, me. <laughs> so yeah, this is now the second chapter, you know, Starfish Man to the Rescue, in which we must now stop and save him with new power-ups, but again, it's, it's Patrick's platforming from the, the other two games. Um, now, I, now, what skin? This was, I think, the last platformer on the PS2 that was made? Uh, not quite. Uh, there was one last, there was one other platformer that, uh, Spongebob related that came out on the PS2. I think that was, uh, Trigger Sponge. Oh, okay. I thought that was a game show, like, the, like the Lights, Camera, Pants. Nope, that one was a pure platformer. And, um, right. I think it basically banked on the, it pretty much banked on all the assets of Battle for Bikini Bottom, straight up, right down to the soundtrack. Yeah. Okay. All right, is, um, this, is this the set from freaking Blade? Why are there so many newspapers everywhere? They're everywhere. They want to Which show off the their physics game. engine. Starfish well, you know, Patrick. You, you know, Patrick can't Starfish read fourth damn, So, Man. what else can he use the newspapers for? Yeah. True. Wait, I can't well, read. I can think of one use, but I don't think that they're ready for it. <laughs> I just imagine. <laughs> no, anyway. So, any, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so if, this... if you want a hint of what I'm talking about, not the way I use them. <laughs> So actually, the more actually the more I look at this, like I'm kind of surprised that has the SpongeBob T SpongeBob show ever done like something like say the Goofy Shorts, where basically the entire like the entire landscape or whatever is inhabited by nothing but Patrick lookalikes. I don't think I so. I know no. they did something similar. I know they did something similar to that with Tentacle Acres. That is true. Oh, so um, hang on. Stop so, with the tutorials. So it does it a lot. This is this is your first. This is supposed to be the first level you ever controlled him. You have to learn all of your new yeah. things. And I, and I can already imagine on the other other under end of the line, it's SpongeBob going on. Patrick, you forgot how to eat again. Quick, let's get the funnel. No, no, oh, no. it's not. No, it's worse than that. Darn, Darn I like the funnel. No, it's worse. Darn, I like the funnel. I just love the idea. SpongeBob, what? <laughs> oh yeah, in the upper right there, I got that. That is. Uh, uh, Jordy, explain to them the sleepy seeds. 
Um, if I remember correctly, they're... I think they're like little collectibles that you can uh, get throughout the levels. Are they temporary? Refresh my memory. Uh, they actually are permanent. So, okay, so I'll explain how this works. At, so, the entire game is mainly set up so that SpongeBob is like the main, you know, person at the end of it all. However, um, um, there is a final level, which I will not go into too much until a little bit later for the sake of the story. Um, the final level, you could play as either SpongeBob, Patrick, or Plankton. Yes, uh, not Squidward or Sandy this time. They wanted to give Plankton the reins <coughs> for, like, mm -hmm. being his own person. Spe speaking of which, um, save for Spongebob, Patrick, and uh, Plankton, and maybe one or two other side characters, they actually don't use any other Spongebob character. Like, there's no sign I of Squidward, nor Sandy, nor Mr. Well, Krabs, ironically. Well, I, well, I will say, uh, yeah. uh, they appear They appear in the poster art. Like, the cute, like they, they, they made a bunch of fun little, like, parodies. Of, like, they In some of the concept art, I think I need to charge through this. There. Uh, oh, and these Zs are a currency that you can use to buy cute little things in a main menu, like, bonus section. Mostly concept art, and... Yeah, all the characters appear in that, but yeah, there are, besides Mrs. Puff in Spongebob's area, and I, and, uh, I think Mermaid Man, uh, old Cannonball Jenkins... Yeah, Cannonball, Cannonball Jenkins is in this game, but no Squidward or Sandy. Nope. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you, you, yeah, I, um... This game always, to me, felt a bit more surreal and almost at times, like, a, e almost, like, even a bit more dark. Like, in some of the, like, elements that they went into. Oh, there, a plankton sleepy. In a matter of speaking, also, it is, oh, yeah. Also, speaking of hype, the sign behind me, that was a barnacle chip sign. <laughs> <laughs> the billboard is barnacle chips. chips. They're delicious. They're delicious. They're most certainly They're most not, delicious. not delicious. Not the way I... See, there you go. Isn't that cool how we all put this together? See, there yes. it is, Barnacle Chips. Any hooser. I'll just kill these guys. Well, I love the sound effects. Anyway, but yeah, so, funny you make the reference. So it's like... Oh, hello, camera. camera. It's funny we make... The, just gonna say, it's funny we make all of the Spongebob references in the past, and now it comes full circle. We have an entire video dedicated to Spongebob references. Because we are playing... Yes. Well, duh, because we're playing Spongebob. So yeah, first, this entire area is another... The first joke I did was a freaking Spongebob reference. Yep. So this whole area is a yeah, platformer based around using based around based around like beat 'em ups, being all the enemies. Ooh. Oh dears. Oh god. Uh, I will probably be cutting ahead to the next chapter because we got like eight or like seven or more to go to. But um, if you get all the plankton sleepy seeds, you can play as plankton in the final level. You collect all the pa the Patrick ones, you can play as Patrick, and you have to collect them all throughout every level. And that little detector in the upper right is a, a sleep is a sleepy seed no detector. <gasps> no. <gasps> What a nightmare! And there's that phone again too. Why? 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 See, even, see, even Patrick meanwhile. getting sick of him. But yeah, meanwhile in the real world, I perplexed think. by such conundrums, a nightmare. Why was I dreaming of a starfish? Back to the evil genius. Millions and millions of starfish. So he took a crumb and he's gonna use it to Jurassic Park a Krabby Patty. Oh yeah, this totally. Oh yeah, this totally isn't real because Patty can't even steal a fucking crumb. And uh oh. that I control the secret Krabby Patty recipe. Um, Aaron, when will it stop growing? Projection. We always get quiet for the SpongeBob cutscenes. <gasps> oh what? no! Oh, and Jurassic Why? Park. <laughs> no, the no the no the realistic the realistic uh realistic uh, reaction would be Kota Papa. Plankton, you were so busy asking whether or not you could, you forgot to ask whether or not you should. Oh, look at that! Just to, just to hey. fight back now, we can grow. There you go. Yes. I'm huge. I'm gigantic. I'm fast. I'm not big enough. Dope. Huh. Well, it's still an improvement. <laughs> Looks kind of now, uncanny man, having him actually be normal size. That is it true. is uncanny. Worse than that Oop. one CGI bit with the guy who was allergic to pickles. Oh, come on. Oh, come oh, on. Let's yeah. delete this thing to Kingdom Come. But yeah, Good now it's time to run like with Plankton. The speculator. It's just a freeze ray here. I invented it so I get to name okay. it. Okay. I name it the Despiculator. The Despiculator. <laughs> How despicable. Oh, God. So, time to run. Welcome to crash, welcome, <laughs> so welcome to a Crash Bandicoot level, everybody. Yeah, yeah that's essentially what it is. It's 2D Crash Bandicoot. It's just the Basically. whole world became two-dimensional. Uh, so, okay, so I guess I'll just talk about this. So, 
the reason why I decided to kind of abandon this as a commentary is that I don't know, uh, the levels are kind of uh, also if you collect all these gears you can get a cool thing at the very end uh, and, if, and if that patty's ever getting a little bit too close to you at any point in time you can use the despiculator with the square button to freeze enemies or even freeze the Krabby Patty itself to buy you some time but that's all you can do just buy time it won't stay frozen forever. Uh oh. Oh yeah. And if that yeah. and Crash Bandicoot style, it's assumed that if that thing catches up to you. In fact, how how do we know this is a crab this is a crab patty and not so much a windy burger if it can't be frozen that easily? Oh ha ha. Twitter. You don't know what a refrigerator is? Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, I don't know if it's just me. But the guy that you pass by every now and then that says afternoon. Unless I'm hearing things, he almost kinda sounds like Roger Craig Smith. Really? Hey. Really? Huh. Whoa, Plankton, what are you mm -hmm. up to? Not look, if he shows up again, listen, you'll see what I mean. Look, there's Hi. Sandy. I check that for myself. Hey, Sandy does appear in this game. Well, there's Sandy's yeah. house. No, she oh. was in there waving. Oh, she I was? I saw her. Oh, okay. well, the house does anyway. Oh, the house. Oh, well, that's oh, the house. Oh, no. Good thing no, you froze no, the crabby before you got oh, ran over. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay, then. Uh, screw what I said. I just realized well, she's not... we're jumping on crabs. No, yes, just oh, and crabs is dead. But how, how ironic. Anywho, so this entire section, now, the reason why I also decided to abandon this is because, like, it's fun and all, but, like, especially with, like, oh, there starts to become repetition, and there's a lot of loading screens, a lot of in-between mini-games. Uh, oh, God. No! Yeah, let's keep going. And, and the same chat. So, basically, just kind of became a thing of like I didn't. I felt like we were gonna. It was gonna get kind of tiring after a while. But I also like look how different it's already been. Like in the last two chapters, I didn't want to just show off the first part of SpongeBob and just that be the end of it. There's so yeah, much more to this game. That was really yeah. the only da the only major problem with Creature from the Krusty Krab. Like you, like the sections themselves are pretty unique. They just you know they just have a way of overstaying their welcome. Right, yeah. so that's why I decided to do this, where yeah. I'll be showing off every single chapter in a normal sort of mini commentary. And so I apologize that that means I have to do a lot of talking just to keep everybody up to speed of what's happening. In all fairness, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to miss out on much. No. I still think it's a pretty. I still think it's a pretty decent game. I, I think it's worth at least like one Whoa. playthrough. It's fun. I just. That's I would fair. just say I don't think it's worth the multiple playthroughs that this game expects you to do. Yeah. It, it's, no, not, like... it's not near. It doesn't need the multiple no. playthroughs. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh come on, dude! That was that was only no name. No name. All oh, right, the jellyfish. There we go. I, Got bounce I thought his name was Friend. Yeah, the blue one. Actually, Friend. 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 Yeah. And he's dead now. He also oh. he even make like a high pitched. Plastic exercise craze. Well, that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking jelly off the menu. Hello there, no. my good Afro man. Actually, it's funny. Actually, funny thing about the exercise craze. Oh, I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but now that scene of crabs on the elliptical is now joined the mass of clips used for that forces me. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no way! It's awesome. Ah, uh, blast it, exercise craze. Anyway, okay, he's dead. Almost. Come on, almost you're almost there. there. And then, and yeah, but again, oh, it's, only really between, it's only between, it's only, it's only between, uh, pa it's only between, pa yeah, it's only between Plankton, Patrick, and Spongebob. So, now that we finished Plankton's dream, back to Spongebob, who's inexplicably falling for some reason. Um, okay then. Warm. We're not awake yet. Uh-oh. I don't know! Stole the floor? <laughs> also, also one of my favorite tracks in the game, and also one of the more darker parts of the game, I like to call it, The Descent. Into madness? Pretty much. Yeah, you could say that. I I I'll buy it. <laughs> look at him, he's just so casual. <laughs> oh, you know, now that I stop and think, I'll look, look back on this. Yeah, SpongeBob did, yeah, SpongeBob did the same thing. That, yeah. That's what that Sonic does. Of course. How but, big um, is this hole? Yeah. It's well, big. I'll, I'll, I'll just stop you there, Matt. It's big. It's really big. That looks, trust me, they'll, they'll explain why, but um, anyway. Um, ooh. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um, it, looking at this footage now, it's sort of making me contemplate uh, doing the Game Boy Advance uh, version of the game as a look at, because, um, I mean, it's shorter for one thing, and secondly, um, guess who developed it? Who? Wait for it. Wait for it, huh? 
Yeah, there was once oh, upon a time when WayForward actually helped make SpongeBob games. And, um, well, they were all in the Game Boy Advance, granted, but some were okay, and some were pretty kooky, and oh, they all look oh, nice. Time for a, oh, time for a, ni time for a nice, time for a nice kid-friendly thing. Oh, <gasps> hello! <laughs> well. We're eaten by the Alaskan bullworm! Oh. Thank you, son. Realization. Meanwhile, the Alaskan mm. bullworm ate the chum bucket. Ow! And is that a... Do I need to say it? <laughs> nice. Yes. You know, the, yes. The, that's how it works. Well, so, I guess... I'll, go ahead, Matt. Well, didn't, uh... <gasps> Old Man Jenkins! Uh, uh, Hello, Old Man Jenkins! Who voices Tom? Is that also Tom Kenny? Who I think voices it is. Old Man Jenkins? I think it it's Tom. A few weeks? But don't you what do you say, hey? Aren't you worried about being digested? Um, let me listen real quick. Oh, sure there ain't no digesting going on. Yeah, that's, con that's Tom Kenny. Although it's kind of weird, I could have sworn that there was one point where Old Man Jenkins, uh, particularly the episode when he became Cannibal Jenkins, was D. Bradley Baker. I think yeah, I that think was. They, yeah, I think probably they changed was. his voice a lot, but here it's Tom. Yeah, that, ah, no, well, that not, was, yeah, that was. Not only that, Old Man Jenkins just changed as a character every time. Yeah, that's it's true. true. Okay, so I'm gonna. So, I mean, so he's actually nice to us for. And he's actually Jenkins, nice to us for a change. Old Man Jenkins was once the guy that they that uh, the people go like. What? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love I the young people. That was him. Old Man Jenkins was also the man driving the jalopy. How did Mrs. Right? He was Wait, also just, the guy that was eaten you... by mystery. He was also the guy that was eaten by mystery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mish. Yeah, a... So I guess I guess it's sort of an unwritten law in Bikini Bottom that when you become of age, your your name officially changes to uh, Old Man Jenkins. And from... Yeah, not even Jenkins. You, not even Jenkins. It must be preceded by Old Man. Anyway, people. Well, obviously. Yep. Anyway. The king. Anyway, people, welcome to uh, Jabu Jabu's Valley. Uh, I'm sorry, SpongeBob. What were you saying earlier? That was it, it's a, it's a can oh, animation. It's you know how it works. No, no, no. Um, I just realized. In post edit, uh, add some dolphin noises. Perhaps. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of enemies. But again, some of the some of the co again kind of similar to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Some of the concept art that they had for this was pretty cool to see. Yeah, like all the all the dream rolls they came up with, and for what it's worth, okay, I'm gonna get let me get this over with right now. We're gonna have a lot of time, like about three to four minutes to spend here because. Oh. So here's how this works. Oh hey, you! I, I recognize your name. Yes. Where do you live? In a pineapple. Under the sea. I know, I know, I know. I heard his voice somewhere before. Anyway. That's also Jim Ward, I think. Okay. Anyway, Old Man Jenkins has a plane. We're trying to collect all the parts and hopefully get this working so that we can fly out of here. Unfortunately, she's a pretty, pretty ironing board. What? Uh, wife's an ironing board. Talk about liking flat chested. Uh -huh. Moving on. So the idea is that we then the, the idea is that it's ultimately going to end up with us helping out the entire inhabitants who don't want to actually leave the worm. They just it's like monstro. They just like live in here. So, hey, Larry. Yeah, you need to go it, to well, Larry ask, but um, actually, you know what? His wife being an iron port? Eh, I've heard it worse. I heard of one guy who married his married his own wife who simulator. Yeah. By uh, the way, man, I, happened. I like to point out that most I woke up one morning. Most of the enemies are crabs, so I woke one, up. part of SpongeBob's dream is to kill, is to kill literally boss. kill his boss. Uh. I would take it. All I would take is one charge with this old Viking helmet I got from circa 2000. Man, mm -hmm. So that's it. It's a, now we're doing this one. Yeah, if you want to talk about weird they have, marriage, which they, which they have some, they have some new little funky twists on his moves. Again, kind of just reinforcing the fact that we're in a dream. Oh dear, spitters. Technically, technically, you have all these platforming uh -oh. elements even in the uh, racing racing chapter. It's just that well, obviously, we decided not to show that off. Because I figured, I figured this is the best place to show it off because. This is also what I think is easy to one of the longest chapters in the game. Ugh, you... Oh, it, it for sure! And to me, it overstays its welcome after a while. So... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's about it. You're platforming, you have most of your attacks, the spin... And hello, spin and hello slow down. 
yeah, there's a lot being rendered when I look that way. It's like Blight Town. But yeah, you spin, you jump, you charge. It's the old SpongeBob stuff, just, you know, with a few more things. Because they want to really show off how this is more of a, a dream. So, like, whenever I spin... Ow! You, you fail! Get Ow. And whenever you ground pound... By jumping and hitting triangle button, in case you forgot from the first chapter, because this game is so helpful. Okay, I want to kill that thing, because I don't want it to be a trouble. <laughs> there you go. You killed it. You happy now? There we go. Yeah, anyway. That's about it. I'm now going to shut up for a second. Matt, what's your experience with Spongebob games? Never played a Spongebob game. I used to love the show. And, uh, apparently the newer seasons are, it, like, the new season is actually not that bad. Oh, and Spongebob dies. <gasps> oh, no. Meanwhile, Patrick, I had a or Starfish I had a, Man, excuse me. I had a dream I sucked down a Spongebob level. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Strapped to a dumb space rocket, traveling faster than the speed of thought. What? What? I thought it was man, I thought you were about to say sucked on a sponge, and it just... Oh, boy. For me, I thought you were just going to stop at sucked on a sponge, and I was like, I can almost taste it. Oh, oh, honey! No! Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's time for our rocket rodeo. Something yep, yep. straight out of Earthworm Jim, it looks like. I love that song. I love that level. Yeah, welcome to a fake. In yeah. this, uh, and don't. And, uh, okay, number of things. First of all, a Krabby Patty spaceship is, is now like trying to go after us, so always with the Krabby Patty gifts. Number one. Number two, don't let this whole facade fool you. This is practically more of a time. Oh, see, see. Every this is practically more like a. Every time the arrows pop up, all I can think of is up, up, down, down, up, this is more like a time trial thing. Grab all the fuel and keep moving. Anyway, so okay, not a lot of SpongeBob games. You said the newer seasons aren't too good. I heard nine. I heard ten. I heard ten were shining. I just said they are supposed to be good. Oh, okay, sorry. I mean, I I've seen a few like I've seen a few scenes myself. And well, let's never forget the legendary bit where Patrick SpongeBob doesn't get his free lunch. Things are gonna get crazy. Things are gonna get crazy. It's, it's, as good it's, as it works in is. such a weird regular show esque kind it of. It feels thing. like so, it really does oh, feel like something I'd expect from the oh, God. Oh. Well, we're in something that's black and a hole. Except it's green and blue. Okay. And it's actually a bunch of regular zone. show. That's a show I really need to get back to watching eventually. Oh no! Oh my goodness! It's, yes, you need to. Actually, the, remind me at some point for us to do like a marathon. A Twilight Zone. Oh, oh you. Oh, no, regular get... show. Oh, regular show. Uh, no objections to that. We're no, in the regular show. We're in the scary door. Oh, God. I hate the scary door. Uh-oh. I think we're out of the black hole, though. There we go. Oh, well. Yeah, this Yay. is, yeah, this whole segment, this whole, this, whole, this, whole, this whole chapter of Patrick's whole thing is rock, riding around on a rocket. You got, like, blasters you can shoot stuff with. There's a little asteroid mini game. That's about it. Um, uh, Jordy, your experience with SpongeBob games in general? Um, let me think. I want to say I haven't really played too many Spongebob games, but the ones I definitely have played are this one and Lights, Camera, Pants. Both of them, in my opinion, are really fun, though I think I like Lights, Camera, Pants a little bit better. I think I like it. There's more, there's more fun to it. It's like a party game. Uh, yeah, I like party games. Um, I played Spongebob games quite a lot. Oh, wait, what? I think I may have the. I think I may have just the right man for the job. Oh my God, no, please. Oh no. So the Mega Man 8 reference was Well, yeah, Anyway, yeah, like, um, I've been playing SpongeBob games almost religiously since um, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Though, I pretty much stopped right around when Atlantis Square Pants came out. Okay. And well, that game, that that game really isn't good. I'll just say that right off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a nice day of worship. Happily, all is normal. Normal except for a weird old tiny filter on the film. Um, what happened last night? Gonna ease off. Oh boy. By the way, is, it, is it just me or does it look like? Oh no, wait, that's just sauce. My bad. Karen! Oh, oh, damn it! Ah. Dang it, Karen! 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 Karen!
Let's Isn't that a reference to an episode? Uh, no, you're thinking of SB129. So yeah. Plankton's living his wildest dreams. Yeah. Get large and in charge. Oh, man. So it really welcome. is incredible to see him this big. I see you, Zaps. So welcome. I see Actually, you, Zaps. 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 Yeah, well, now, again, this is all based, again, this was all based around that dream section. So, yeah, this is basically this. Pretty much the big highlight of the game, really. You're fi you're controlling giant planks. I just realized that we had a skydiving level earlier, and, we, and there was no Sandy reference. Increased physical strength. Yeah, that is weird. Nope. I mean, no pair of shoes, no pair of keet, not even a paramedic. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, crabs. Did someone say excellent? Bye that bye, crabs. No, no, that was Plankton saying excellent because that was him like reacting to hearing that he now has the atomic. Oh, oh hey. Oh, no. Hey. I was joking, by the way. It's okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were being not serious. That's the sponge house. Ooh, a pineapple! I have been feeling rather parched. Let's just stomp these frickin' things out of the way. Go back Crush. to the island where you belong. Oh, and we got more power-ups, which are basically the mic power-up from Kirby. Oh, great. Lick, lick. Lick, lick. Anyway, so, um... I think I already did my thing. Hi, did, we, did I ever ask you about your experience with SpongeBob games yet? Ow! Oh. Sakurai! Um... Yeah, my experience with SpongeBob games... <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm kind of on a similar boat with James, although I want to say I think my experience with the SpongeBob games is actually kind of predates James' a little. Like, I actually started as oh, early as quick. PC Sorry. games, like stuff like Operation hang Krabby on, Patty, quick. Employee of the Month, Check stuff it, like that. I'm a 50 foot atomic powered lightning! You still need a ticket. Aww. <laughs> oh, crap. He <laughs> still needs a ticket, even when he's 50 feet tall. Fine, we'll find a ticket. Really? Okay. All right. Continue, continue there. It's a fucking dream. Continue, hype. Oh, Weenie Hut Jr. <gasps> Super, That's fine. Super Weenie Hut Jr. But yeah, like I said, um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I started actually quite a bit earlier than James, like particularly with the PC games like Operation Krabby Patty, um, and Play of the Month, which is basically take the good old LucasArts format and just apply it to SpongeBob. But it was actually pretty fun for what it was. Um, okay. And then, of course, there was the console games ah. like Bow for Bikini Bottom, um, Super Sponge, Lights, Camera, Pants. I think I stopped around the same time James did when Atlanta Square Pandas came out. But and I never ticket. Really bothered playing it mainly just because. There's your was crummy just ticket. Now die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. It's time. Oh darling, I knew nothing would tear us apart. Exit. Films are awesome. Brack. <laughs> Time is spitting us up. So and that was the thing. I Meanwhile, the Alaskan bullworm. Whoa. God, it's those teeth. Oh, those teeth, Ow. man. All done. Oh. 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 Ouch. Who's the patty? Cut the patty. But unfortunately. Unfortunately, while we fly around, the patty decides, I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh no. God. That's Too heavy. Some crap. Now... Give it back. So now we switch from Plankton to SpongeBob. Yep. This is ba... Let's do it. And now, so welcome to basically uh, Patrick's level again, just with a new skin. But honestly, this is one of my favorite levels, just because like, of the... Just, just of how, like, kind of cool cinem... Like, how cinematic it all is to me. Yeah, you can tell yeah, that they pretty, pretty much put most of their budget into this section here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we are basically a walking fishing line. Oh, jeez. Sorry, old man. We must run and flee from a mad plankton. And as and I mean, hey, there it is. And I mean, wait a minute. I thought, our, that was wait, I, thought his, I thought his house was crushed. It's dreams. It's dreams. Good point. That's it got point. better. If you don't have a hat, get one. my brain. Nope. <laughs> if you don't have a hat, get one. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's, uh, and definitely, I, and this was definitely one of the big levels I think a lot of the marketing for this game was built around. Oh, yeah. With all the old commercials. Oh, hello. Right, right down to the box art. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's why, okay, so, um, 
That's why I feel like I get. I feel like there is fun, some fun stuff to this game. I just feel like, it, especially if we're trying to play it all in one session, it can get kind of draining. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. It doesn't change or add enough at the yeah. right pace. Part of the right. Yeah. Well, it was in my way. That and looking back on it, like the controls aren't quite as smooth as say what you expect out of Battle for Bikini Bottom or SpongeBob movie. I guess. And so, so who's gonna be doing Battle for Bikini Bottom? Uh, I guess. I, guess. I mean. Honestly, like, there has been. I do remember hearing news that THQ Nordic was able to get get a Nickelodeon license again, so they might be able to re-release all their games on HD HD platforms. That so th that could result in yeah, a Battle for sure. Bikini Bottom PS4 Possibly. Switch port. I, I never. Hey, you never know. I mean, they, I don't think they really have the budget to really make this we can get lately. Why not? Yeah, but those yeah. remasters make sense. This, oh my remastering God. this would not make sense. Unless, well, like, I'm not talking about this game. I'm not talking about this game. I'm talking about, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Unless, like, another SpongeBob movie comes out, I doubt they're going to release these. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm literally just trying to think, like, the Sponge. Uh, he's all like, it won't work. You know, I'm like, I wonder what, I wonder what the title Actually, is. Actually, how about this? Would they, they call it the Patty Trilogy? Would they call it the. The Krabby Patty Trilogy. The Krabby Patty Trilogy. I'll get you. And finally, yeah, it's time for one more dream. Actually, I was about to say, since we... Oh, oh guys. Uh, how can I sleep in a time like this? There well, must be a panic reflex, I guess. You don't even know what that is, Patrick. Yeah. Panic. 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 Oh, God. Oh, panic button. Ooh, panic Ooh, button. Panic button. What the? That works. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Looney Tunes. Wow. Why did... Spongebob. Oh crap. Oh no! Oh, 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 what am I gonna do? Oh, oh, think, think, think. I don't know. No, no thoughts today. Crack! <laughs> I love the Oh, oh, there's, oh, there's oh hey Joe. Man. I'm starfish. An actually decent mermaid man impressionist. Wait, who is yeah, that? It's the same guy that voiced him on Lights, Camera, Pants. Yeah, the, yeah, not the guys that they got from Battle for Kitty Bottom. This guy's actually pretty good at doing Mermaid Man. Wait, what's his name? Joe Alasky. Uh, oh. yeah, you might recognize him, hun, as... Well, first off, he was he was the second voice of Grandpa Lou from The Pickles. Okay. And he was one of the quite many successors that Mel Blanc had voicing characters, like particularly Daffy, Sylvester, and so on and so forth. And he voiced Plucky in Tiny Toons. Oh, okay. So I need to get the Shrink of Fire right by hitting the switches, and apparently, like in Cloverfield, Plankton now has Plankton spawn. What? Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Or they're, the, or they're his family. We'll just say that I, I call you say that family. Family. I've produced a... Yeah, I think I've they're the family. I've produced a sexually. I'm pretty sure the family aren't quite to scale, though. Maybe he grew up with 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 Maybe he Crap. You get behind the building. Aw, man. We need to get or they, could, yeah, or, they, or they could be his biggest fans. But yeah, basically take the beat 'em take the beat 'em up like style of the Starfish Man level and just just make it just a straight out. Just make it a straight oh crap. Back Zap. again. He's Seriously. running out of buildings. Okay, now I'm worried. But but yeah, what was I gonna say? Take the beat 'em up thing and just crank it up to eleven. Now you're just beating things up and that's it. For this chapter. But ah. then again, like it's like each chapter has like yeah three or four different things, so it kind of just starts to drag after a while. But, I mean, ultimately, I still feel like there's enough to it. But not quite enough to it to make it a full-on commentary. No, no, because otherwise, this, this would have been around, like, yeah. part 11, if we were doing this normal. Yeah, people would be like, when will it end? Actually, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed, like, Patrick's little... Patrick's little blowing ability is, like, the exact opposite of Wario's sucking ability. Yeah. And we did it! We shrunk him! Did I win? Wait, Epic. that was... Do... That was... <gasps> that was Plankton's voice yeah. coming out of Patrick. Yeah. Thank you for trying, Patrick, old pal. But it looks like... But yeah, how's this all making sense? We're, we, none of us have... Well, 
Uh, None of us have woken up. Eh? What? what? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the plot twist. The Krabby Patty is indeed Hello sentient, again, Jim. Like it wasn't sentient before? Yes, that is exactly Well, it. but how does this all work? We're, none of us have woken up. We've been in a dream this whole time. It's more sentient than the gave it credit for. I too indulged in a crumb. A mere morsel, mind you, of succulent. So I guess the idea is that since they all ate Krabby Patties before bed, it made their dreams all weird. Like when you eat sugar. Huh. Okay then. It's also why apparently some people say that if you eat apples before bed, you have an increased chance of having lucid dreams. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. And thus everyone who's watched this video eats an apple plot before twist, bedtime. Plot, plot twists. Wait. <gasps> I oh, no. knew it! This Krabby Patty wants revenge for us eating it? I can't even see Plankton down there. Me neither. It's, a, it's the lighting. And of course the well, dinosaur box. Oh. Add it together. Slow as fuck to the better end. And so yeah, this is pretty much the point where the you stretchiness you there. The mind carnival yeah, raceway. go ahead, James. So yeah, this is pretty much the point where the game will ask you like which character you want to play as. But if you didn't get all the sleepy scenes, you're stuck with SpongeBob. So I'm gonna stick with SpongeBob. But welcome to the hypnotic highway. Again, some of the again, this is also one of the more surreal levels in the whole game. It kind of reminds me of some of the creatures you see in uh, Rock Bottom. But yeah, now that I think is, about it. Matt, I wonder what a Spongebob game would be like if, if it was made by Vicarious Visions or Toys for Bob. I, I think it'd be pretty cool. Well, actually, or, I, I, or, I should, or, I should or, rephrase or myself. Um, a Vicarious Visions or Toys for Bob game in this day and age. I'm aware that Vicarious Visions did make a few Spongebob games during the GBA days, so... What about Blue... Slack. What about Blue... Uh, blue Snapples? What were the people who did the, the Shadow of the Colossus right now? Uh, Blue Point? Blue point, yeah. Oh, Whoa, what are those things? Blue point has done a lot. Watch out, dude. Oh dear. Yeah, I can see the scene regardless. I, I, just spoilers. I think Blue Point should have handled the Dark Souls remaster. Just saying. What? Who they get? Who they get to handle the remaster for uh, Dark Souls? Not Ow. Blue Point, and I th and people could make the argument that it's the same thing with Smash when it was on 3DS and Wii U. Some people are saying that because they want to put Dark Souls on the on the Switch and have it be the same experience with the same internet connectivity, um, that overall people are saying that the footage that they've seen doesn't look like it's not like it's not like like the difference is not as night and day as Shadow of the Colossus original to the remastered. Well, okay, just, okay. Like the Xbox 360 version again. Well, well, the thing about the, about the Dark Souls one, yeah, that's not, that's a remaster of a game from last gen, so they're just going to polish it up. Shadow of Colossus remaster is a complete remake of the engine from Shadow of Colossus PS2 game. I just really think it would have been cool to see it like, look super like, like it, does, it looks worse than Dark Souls 3's graphics do still. And, not only that, and that's why people are going to buy the Switch version. Because Dark Souls 3 is a game that was on... Was on it's a game that was, on, like a, that was made for PS4. So basically, this is what so this is how we're, and, and Dark Souls Remastered is not going to be a game for PS4. You get what I'm saying. I don't know. We're, we're arguing over the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Just from what I've seen, if you're getting it for Switch, totally get it for Switch. If you're thinking of getting it for PS4 or Xbox One, just get the Steam version and mod it with the DS4. Oh, dear. With the DS4 Windows fix and get some modded textures and you're pretty much getting the exact same experience. The Switch is the best one because it has the Amiibo support and everything, and I don't know what's going to happen yet. And the portability. Portability. Who's playing what? Um, I wasn't playing anything, that's my text, though. Oh, okay. Oh, and again, James, the PS part about the Sleepy Seeds, you actually can't get all the Sleepy Seeds until, like, there are Sleepy Seeds in this level. Oh, are you so fucking kidding me? So it's me? impossible to get them all. You, I you saw. have to beat the game as Spongebob at least once. That is stupid. But yeah, it's a race against whose dream is it really and who wins the race. So, as you can see, Spongebob's going to be our victor for today. Oh, of course, his name is on the t name is on the title. Almost done, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think this game is fun. I think the, I think they should have. I think they really should not have made the Sleepy Seeds thing be it. Like, 
work the way it did. It should have been like, oh, who do you want to play? Or just, or maybe just have fun like with the whole flying Dutchman. Is it you? <laughs> Doing SpongeBob Patrick and Squidward. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as my own opinions on the game are concerned, like. I think in the end, at the end of the day, I, I think I appreciate more the idea behind the game as opposed to the execution. Like, I mean, it still looks rather surreal as we're seeing, and I do appreciate that. It's just that there's so many things they could have they could they could have used some touching up. Yeah, and it kind of make, it does make it sort of fall sort of how should I put this fall behind in comparison to like Battle oh, the Bottom or the SpongeBob movie. Yeah. Game. I mean, what, what, do you, what do you guys think? We're getting close to the end of the lap. It was kind of fun, but I haven't seen the other SpongeBob games, really. A very good question indeed. And, uh, what about you, Jordy? Um, like I said before, uh, I did have really good fun memories of this game, but, uh, for the most part, I thought... Uh, how do I describe this? Like, I really didn't d regard the sleepy seats in any way, so I just, you know. We did it! I just also, went with the story what? as it. Yeah. Hey, I guess this is Sorry, I was watching, watching some strong bad because I kind of am at a loss for words at the moment. Really? This is SpongeBob. It's not even a bad SpongeBob. We want Krabby Pat. Uh oh. Want it. All right, all right, I get Holy it. Holy crap, the time sorry, it. I'm late. What the hell's with these fish? Stand aside. Yeah, they're just all the extras from about. There you go. Well, that's one way to do it. Patty. Pretty good. <laughs> just, look at that, they're just, <laughs> the bottles, they're just frozen, frozen in time. I said without relish. Oh. Oops. One Krabby Patty, no relish coming right. Stop. Wait a minute. Why is everybody staring at me? <gasps> I always <gasps> had this shell. What? what? What the hell? It's time we get to the bottom of this. Ah. Huh? Then? Oh. Then? Oh. then? These dreams. Then. You see, this entire story was a dream. Paul. By Gary. Gary? By Gary. And this is why and you never feed never pet. feed burgers to your to your pets. Never have fast food at night, kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a Krabby Patty piece, all right. And now I'm going to show the final cutscene, which will kind of explain why Gary it's has such a messed up dream. Itself. Now, according to a friend of mine, the copy he had of this game, like, the audio kind of glitched, and so this entire cutscene was silent, which almost made it weirder to him, like, almost more creepy. But, like, if you just imagine this being silent, or whatever, especially later on, but anyway. Yeah, that, 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 does, that does explain why this this ending felt so empty to me when I first, when I played it. Hey, Gary. Where you going? I don't know. And oh boy, lucky! Wait. Aww. Mm. Don't mind his eyelid clipping there, but oh, okay. Yeah, it's again like, like this is this is where he got all the ideas of like wanting to have all this weird stuff anyway, like SpongeBob driving with the little bit. What the? What the heck? Where is it? I can't believe I've lost my single Krabby Patty crumb. You're right, James. He actually had the crumb. After all of these years, <laughs> but he lost it. Plotting, only to be thwarted. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, here it is. Okay, then. <laughs> like, Meh. Oh, well, whatever. And finally, after a nice little stroll with SpongeBob's front door wide open and his belongings ransacked in the time he was away, time to he go forgot back to feed to Gary. There you are, oh, hang on. Gary. I got us a special treat, a Krabby Patty. Hey! Mm. No, you fool! Wait. That's it. Okay. That's enough. Hi. And then la the last couple things that are important to know and make this game actually more dark when you think no about it. No time for a bed. A talking Krabby Patty, huh? Hmm. And then the Alaska ball oh. oh no! That was random. And Gary thinks nothing of it. Seriously, what was the point of that? This is the ending where SpongeBob died, and there are no more good SpongeBob games. The end. Wait, seriously? 
I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, especially you think about, like, that's the ending. That's the canon ending is that in the in that night, you, know, you think about it, even that night when Gary awoke for a little bit at the very end of the game, SpongeBob's still eaten by that Alaskan bullworm. Oh, my God. This yeah. a dark uh, game. I know, right? What did I just watch? <laughs> But in any yeah. case, in ladies I'll, and gentlemen, that's it for our mini commentary on uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab. I mean, if any of that looked good to you or fun to you, what is wrong? No, no, it, I agree with you. Part of it, a lot of it is still, I think, a pretty fun experience to at least give it a shot. It is available on PS2, I think GameCube, and was it PS2, on Xbox? GameCube, Xbox, and it was also a launch title for the Wii. Huh. Uh, yeah. So it's, available on those, it's available on those systems. I think it's at least worth at least one playthrough just to kind of, if you want to like see more of those chapters, because they, they there are mini games, there are whole new areas. I just shot off a little taste of each one in case, you know, to kind of give you the full scope of it, but... Yeah, that concludes what I'm going to be doing with SpongeBob. I think who's going to be tackling the Alpha Bikini this Bottom? This gets if we our do completionist rating of finish it. Of Finland. <laughs> so any any so I guess uh, who's going to be doing our next SpongeBob thing? Uh, I mean, if there ever if I ever get a chance to, I guess I could record Alpha we'll Bikini Bottom. We'll find out. I, though I I haven't I haven't beat that game in years. So. I'll tell you what, James. We'll um, hmm? mm-hmm. I was about to say. I'll tell you what, James. If you do, like, a full playthrough of Battle for Bikini Bomb, I'll do a look at it of the Spongebob movie. Um, okay. And... Yeah. Oh, sorry. All I was going to say was, and if I can learn how to work Elgato properly, I may or may not try a little look at of Lightscaper Pants. Okay. Alrighty. That's fair. So, with that said, thank you all so much for mm-hmm. watching. I'm Lucky Jack 20 I'm James May Extreme. I'm Jordan the Cat 11 Go ahead. Finland! <gasps> I am a talking fish head. <laughs> I'm a realistic talking fish head, and you've just watched our first mini commentary in a while. Stay tuned for never. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. And beware of that Alaskan bullworm! Yes, they are, lady, it's aren't they?